Your husband, there was an interesting moment in Philadelphia, I'm sure your husband interrupted by some Black Lives Matter mm -hmm. protesters. Um, and he very passionately defended your use of super predator back in the 90s. And a, a word I'm, I know you've said that you regret using and that you wouldn't use again. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to just like more, more broadly ask you um, about what your husband said, because he, he did say something very interesting, which was, there were a lot of people back then, uh, African Americans, who were mm -hmm. sending young African Americans to their deaths, in, 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 and that was what was behind the term super predator, and those black lives matter. W what, do you, what do you make of that whole debate? Well, I think what um, Bill said is that we should all be listening to each other, and I certainly have been listening. On um, the very first day of this campaign, I gave a speech about criminal justice reform and ending the era of mass incarceration. I have been consistently speaking out about what I would do as president. And I think it's important for people to recognize we have work to do, that there were uh, a lot of people very scared uh, and uh, concerned about high crime back in the day. Um, and now we've got to say, OK, we have to deal with the consequences. And one of the consequences is, uh, in my view, over-incarceration of people who should not have been in the criminal justice system. They have an addiction problem, a mental health problem. They have committed a low-level offense, a nonviolent offense. So I want to divert people from the criminal justice system and from being incarcerated. And I want to do more if people are in corrections institutes to help them while they're there. And I want to do more to help them when they get out, re-enter into society. More, more uh, personally, your husband obviously very, very much wants you to win. Um, and he would do anything, I'm sure, to, to do that. But he also is somebody who, understandably, wants to defend his legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if those two things are ever in conflict, and if I could ask what you said to him when you saw that footage out of Philadelphia. I, I'm not saying there was anything necessarily wrong with what he was saying, mm -hmm. but, it, but it, was just, it was just an interesting moment um, about a very important issue. Well, he's not only a former president, he's my husband, right. and he does take uh, defending and protecting me very seriously, and I appreciate that. And I think he uh, has a great legacy. If we're going to talk about his eight years as president, we should talk about everything. And he said last summer to the NAACP uh, that a lot of uh, good things uh, happened to try to lower crime, save lives, and all of that. But clearly, some things happened that uh, were not foreseen and need to be now addressed. And I, I think that's good leadership. You know, you don't do something and never keep asking, is it working? Is it having unintended consequences? And so that's why when I was in the Senate, I introduced legislation to end racial profiling. I supported uh, trying to end the disparity between sentencing over crack cocaine and powder cocaine and took a lot of other uh, action in concert with uh, my colleagues to try to deal with some of these issues.